Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Travel Tech. So in one of my previous videos, I showed you how you can install the latest Z-Link 5 on your Android car system. In case if you have missed that video, just click down on the description. You'll find the link to that video right here. But in this video, I'm going to show you a new way how you can enable or how you can make the Z-Link 5 appear on your app screen. So many of you who followed my previous video were telling me that after updating using the set file, you lost the Z-Link in your Android car system. So here's the trick on how to get it back. So as you're seeing right now, I'm heading into the app section and there is no Z-Link file right here because after getting the new update now, Z-Link file has completely disappeared from the app screen. I don't seem to find it anywhere else. The last app is the YouTube app. So how to get the Z-Link 5 back working on your Android car system in the most simple and the easy way. So I'll just show you that. Scroll down from the top of the screen and head into the car settings. So this is the car settings button. Just click on that. In the car settings, head into the system settings. So within the system settings, head into the factory settings. So in the factory settings, you will find another option called as factory setting here. Just click on that. Now you will need to enter a password in order to enter the factory setting. I will show you the password. It's 16176699. So make sure you enter this specific correct password and click on the confirm button. There you go. The factory settings has now opened up and once it opens up, just scroll down right below to the last options. And here you can see the car play option here and there is a checkbox right here which is currently unchecked so just click on the carplay checkbox so make sure it is selected or make sure it is checked out so once it's done here on top you can see the save button so just click on the save button so as soon as you click on the save button the android car system is going to restart so you need to wait for a few minutes until the system restarts again so let's check back once the system restarts Alright, so the system has now restarted. So let's see if the work what we did make any difference or not. If I head into the app section, there you go. You have the Z-Link file right back on your app screen. And to make sure it's working and it's a proper app, just click on that. Z-Link file is back to working in a normal condition as I had shown you in my previous video. And now you can access Z-Link file and use it to connect your smartphone either the wired way or the wireless way so you have both options you can even connect to a wired mirroring or a wireless mirroring for both iphone and android in the z-link 5 or if you would just want to have android auto or apple carplay in both wired or wireless way you can have it this way as well so in case you don't know how to do that you can check out my previous videos i'll leave the link in the description below so that's it this was the most easy and the simple way to get z-link 5 back on your android car screen and if this video has helped you out, I need you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and smash that like button before you move on to the next video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Oh.